Now that we know what our application is going to look like, it's time to start creating it. To do so, we're going to start by creating a brand new Spring Boot project. I'm using IntelliJ here, but feel free to use whatever IDE you'd like to. So we're going to start with the Spring Initializer. I'm using Java 8. I'm going to click Next, and we're going to start with a group. Mine's going to be com.therealdanvega. We have an artifact. We'll call this Tasks. For me, I'm going to use a Maven project. You can feel free to use a Gradle project if you'd like. I'm packaging as JAR, Java 1.8, and I'm using Java. Again, if you feel like using one of my favorite languages, Groovy, please go ahead and do so. We'll change this description to Spring Boot Tasks Application. We have our same package. We're going to click Next. So for the core, we're actually going to use DevTools. I'm gonna, I always like to include that on any project. And I'm also going to use Lombok. In the web section, I'm going to select web. For SQL, I'm going to select JPA and H2. And finally, under ops, I'm going to choose actuator. And I might as well just pull the docs in as well. So here we have a tasks application. I'm dropping this in my jhipster course folder. Feel free to drop it wherever you'd like. And once that's done, we're going to go ahead and click finish. All right. Let me just grab Maven here. Refresh this. All right. So we have a pretty basic Spring Boot app. Again, this should look familiar to everyone. I'm using 1.5.4. Feel free to use any version you'd like. And we have all of our dependencies here. We'll actually be adding, I think, one more as we go along, but this will get us started. So what I like to do whenever I start an app is to kind of break down my app into different packages. So I'm going to have a couple different packages here. I'm going to have a controller. Some people call it web. Again, this is really up to you how you want to kind of structure your application. I'm going to have a domain package. I'm going to have a repository. A repository. I don't know why I always spell that wrong. <laughs> Whoops. Let's get that out. We want this here. Repository. And finally, I'm going to have a service package for my service. So that's what our basic application is going to look like. Here we have our task application. Again, just a basic Spring Boot app. So let's start with the task controller. I'm going to go ahead and create a controller. I'm going to say new Java class. This is a task controller. And we're going to mark this as REST controller. We're actually going to give this a request mapping of API tasks. And then we'll get to the REST as we move along. So I'm just kind of setting up the foundation for this particular application. We're also going to have a task. So let's say Java class tasks. Whoops. All right, let's go ahead and refactor this. I want to rename this to just task and OK. And then we're going to have a task repository. So let's say new Java class. This is a task repository. This is actually of type interface. We're just kind of setting up the bare bones of this application here. Finally, I'm going to have a task service. This is of type. I'm actually going to have this as an interface too. And then I'll have a implementation of this. So let's say task service implementation. That's a class that's going to implement task service. Okay, so I think that is all we need to do for now. That is really the structure of our Spring Boot application. And what we're going to do in the following videos here is start to build out this application. So now we have this structure. We have our main application class that will run. 
We have a controller, a task to represent a single task in our app, a repository that acts as a persistence layer to fetch and save our tasks, and then we have a service layer that kind of handles the business logic so that our controller does not have to. So this is the main part of our Spring Boot app, and in the next lesson, we'll start to build upon that.